Aries, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. And yes, it's going to be a pretty tense week and I will tell you how to get through it. Uh, we'll get into the astrology first and then go into the cards. This is a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. And I always create an extended reading, which I hope you'll join me for. That link is below. Or you can join the Unbound membership and that will give you unlimited access to all the extended readings for the life of your membership as well as all the other channel perks. So check it out. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Aries content comes out every single Wednesday no, every single Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And if you want to join me for live daily tarot card readings, please come on over. I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, and I do live daily tarot chats over there. So um, I'd love for you to join me. Why is the astrology... Now, the astrology, of course, is, is time-stamped. So at least we know when the energy kind of like... Um, is released, right? Um, but this message will come to you when it's the right time, I have no doubt. So um, what is up with the astrology? Um, there's uncomfortable aspects that are challenging Mars right now. And they include a challenging axis, a semi-square to Saturn, as well as... Um, um, another challenging aspect to the North Node. And those are pretty much staying with Saturn, I mean, for with Mars for a while. And then we have this other, I think, semi-square to Mercury, which is in retrograde. Well, not be in retrograde for long. But I think what's going on is you're going to have a lot of negative feedback this week. Um, a lot of people telling you something, something about yourself, um, based on what you used to be or going to be clashing with people because of like, that's that South node energy, right? Uh, what's like laziness. I'm just going to say it laziness or, or th at least their perception of you not putting enough effort in, um, that is challenging because you have this wonderful energy. Mars is definitely still in Aries. It's a great time to really feel empowered. And honestly, I think if it was just a straight out opposition or straight out squares, it would be better for you because it would be more directly combative, more directly combative. And at least you would kind of know what to do in that situation. It would sort of heat up and, and burn out your energy, but that's not the point. Right now, it's not a time to burn out. It's not a time to um, burn out your energy. It's a time to use your energy to burn off the old crap. So whereas you might want to fire off at somebody, um, you're not going to be able to find the words to do it. It's just not the best week to enter into any kind of deep discourse with somebody. In fact, usually they'll be condescending to you at this point, especially authority figures or just a sense of somebody here, you hearing things that your parents always said about you or your parents still treating you like a kid or authority figures tearing you down or um, there are being there's rules or restrictions that you know you'll fail um, for lack of knowledge or lack of information or something that you have to hold back. You can't tell somebody and that could be clashing with what an authority figure asks of you. These are not anything major that's going to end your life or your career, or your reputation, but it is stuff that could get you into that irritable and irritating kind of trouble. So the best way to use this energy is honestly just um, find physical activity, not risky physical activity, as in physical activity that you're good at. You know, if you've played baseball for years, go to the batting uh, cage. Um, if you've um, if you if you've trained, whatever, just. Go and go to the gym, like go for a run. Don't try to do crazy things because the impulsivity level um, and even just like the law in general, like universal law will come down too hard on you. So it's not that you want to like get out there and jump out of airplanes, but you just want to be able to engage yourself in physical activity that will help you like purge this extra energy that you 
you feel oppressed. It's almost like you feel as being oppressed inside of you because you can't use it. It's like you're being held back. You don't want to be held back, but you are. You're being held back by lack of information. You're being held back by other people's ignorances of you, other people judging you based on what you used to be, um, based on even stuff that you did yourself that, that you know, you're, you're taking things, you're taking the easy way out. You're trying to take shortcuts and, and now it's it's coming at you and there's nothing that you can really do to escape it. You really just have to own your shit and, um, pound it out on a treadmill for a while or really like really get to get out of your head, get into your body. Cause you could get stuck in your head this week and that'll cause an extra irritation. So really the conflicts that you would have with others is with authority figures or authority in general, the rules, the law. So you don't want to push any of those buttons. Um, or uh, people being condescending to you, judging you, or throwing your past up to your face. That's something that you can not look forward to this week, but definitely expect. And you know why it's happening? Because you need to deal with it. It's not happening because the universe is conspiring against you. It's happening because this is stuff that you need to take care of and still haven't changed. And the universe wants you to move forward, Aries. It's giving you the perfect setup. Jupiter's there. You, Mars is in Aries. It's perfect time for you to move forward. But if you've done stupid shit and you continue to do stupid shit, guess what? You can't, you can't move forward. So it's basically about seeing how have I held myself back. Queen of Swords is here. This is really decon... Oh, interesting how I grabbed for the tarot. We'll start with these. Queen of Swords is here. So this is somebody who is degrading and down downward towards you. Um, also, so this is a very manipulative energy. I don't know if you're engaged or in a relationship with an air sign, but somebody's putting a lot of undue pressure on you. And it's usually guilt. It's usually, yeah, emotional guilt or them making you responsible for their emotions. Mm. And you know what? There is an exact opposition when the moon moves into Libra to Mars. And I think that that's really when you're going to start to come confront what this is and realizing that um, somebody may be very much manipulating you here. They're guilting you into doing something for them or doing too much for them or putting too much pressure on you. Let's get into the cards. Whoa. See that shit? It reveals itself right away, dude. Okay. Aries, what have you got to tell me? What have you got to tell me? <sighs> Give with gratitude and grace. You've been giving your whole self. You've been putting everything in. This is also a good time, maybe constructive energy to do something for other people without expecting anything. But I think that this is part of the problem is you've been working for nothing. You've been doing shit for nothing. You feel like you're doing something for nothing. Well, stop doing it. Stop putting yourself into a situation where you feel like you're being drained because you're not getting anything back. This is about bountifulness and prosperity. Give with gratitude and grace, but I don't feel something graceful here. I feel something forced, like you have to, like you're putting your whole self in. Turkeys don't enjoy Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of what it is. It's like when you show up to a party, you shouldn't be the food. What is putting you in this position where you feel like you're just being ripped apart or used by somebody? Interesting. Um, we also have Sometimes Life Sings. This is Scorpionic Energy. Um, this is somebody nagging you. And we talked about this. The astrology actually coincides with this. Somebody is nagging you. They won't let you be. And they won't let you be because basically, I'll tell you something right now. This is passive aggressive shit. It's passive aggressive shit. Somebody is angry at you. They won't directly confront you, but they keep niddling you and disrespecting you and making you do stupid shit for them. Well, now you owe me. Well, now you owe me. You don't owe nobody shit. You got to get out of that context, right? The only person you owe is you and you got to get your shit together. That's where your energy has to go to. Whoever this person is, they're doing it subvertedly. They're doing it infectiously. They're doing it manipulatively, probably because they're angry at you and they may be angry with you for a good reason, but they're not being direct and it's turning into manipulation. You got you to gotta cut that shit out right away. I'm just going to let you know. Take time out. That's right. Take a break. Defend yourself. This is mama bear energy. This is mama bear energy. Somebody's going to come in. Somebody's got to come in to stick up for yourself. Yo ass. I feel like you do. I feel like almost you need somebody to defend you this week because um, nobody's going to listen to you. 
it's almost like you've lost the authority in this situation. They're not going to listen to you. You're going to need defense from somebody else. Um, take time out is legitimately take a break, um, especially from this kind of energy. Whatever this needling, nagging energy is, you got to get yourself out of it. You got to get yourself away from it. Um, Baird also speaks of healing, though. Okay. Believe in yourself. Plant those seeds. Now, this is Virgo energy, which is telling you this is a good time to get healthy. This is a good time to work on yourself. It's a good time to do the boring shit and put something in a schedule, as in get into a normal exercise routine, get onto a normal nutritional uh, schedule, get... We're talking Virgo energy, right? We're talking about now Virgo is a doer. Virgo is very, act, excuse me, Virgo is a doer. Vir, Virgo is very active energy, but it's pedantic. It's scheduled. It's consistent. But that's what you need right now. You need some sort of regularity to get yourself back on track. And this comes with health. So you need to start taking some steps right now to, to make yourself be healthy to help yourself heal, to help yourself, um, um, I don't know what it is, but I just keep hearing health, health, health. And that's what it is. It's like protect yourself by, by investing in yourself, by getting back onto a healthier routine for who you are and not forget about everybody else. This is, this is a confrontational week with everybody else. That shit is not going to go well for you. You got to wait right like like get through this week and then check back with me next week um but but this is a great time to start putting into place those systems or strategies or just impl Im implementing routines you know that will help you heal there's something here with health i don't know if you've been sick or something but really to focus on that you could put a lot of physical energy into re like revitalizing yourself, a lot of focus into healing. Now is a lucky, oh, you may be trying to heal a relationship with somebody who's just fucking mad at you and they don't want to listen and somebody's being defensive. It may be them. It's almost like they're attacking you or they're being like a bear, passive aggressive, like they're angry, but they're not being straightforward about it. And you're trying to do everything you can to help heal the relationship. But Aries, are you doing too much? It looks like that. It looks like you're like, okay, I was wrong. I'm fucked up. Now you can treat me however you want. No, that's not the right way. That is not what you do. Please do not do that. You know, also you might want to consider maybe this partnership, this relationship, this job, whatever it is, maybe it just ain't fucking working out. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I know that you're the warrior, but you don't have to do battle everywhere. Part of being a brilliant warrior is knowing what the good fight is. Is this even fucking worth it? People rope you in and keep you around for longer than you want to be because they turn things into a challenge and you stay for the challenge, but you don't really necessarily want it anymore. So be sure you know that what you're fighting for, I say this to you guys a lot, especially in these contentious energies, make sure that what you're fighting for is actually what you want because it doesn't look like it is to me. It looks like somebody's manipulating you into a fight or a situation to keep you around or to keep using your energy or draining your energy to help them get shit done for themselves. Um, and you're just, you're just staying in the combat, but it's not really healthy for you. You're, tr you're trying to overcompensate to make things better. Or there's somebody in your life that's doing it. Now's a lucky time. You are never alone. Guys, you have so many fucking options, especially when it comes to romance. You cannot be settling. Look at the cards. Well, I'll show them to you again. Now is a lucky time. This is my fertility card. Also, better watch out. You don't want nobody manipulating you via pregnancy or anything like that. Just an FYI, because this is a fertile time for you and somebody may try to do that to you to hang on to you. But this is, or if you are looking to get pregnant, you've been working on this. This is actually a really good time for you. Go like hop to it like a little bunny. Go to it. This is also something it's saying that you have so many options when it comes to especially ro love and romance or partnership. A lot of people will want you and will want to support you. There's so much bountifulness here, but it seems like there's it's like your energy is being distracted to fight this stupid fight 
And that's all about somebody else's ego. It's got nothing to do with you. This is a really beautiful time for you to start developing your healthiness, your, your, your life, getting your life back on track to be more healthy. And that comes with not letting somebody guilt you into shit, not letting, not taking somebody else's burdens on as your own, um, being able to clear that shit up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cause I do, I do have this feeling that somebody is just fucking nagging you. Uh, Virgo energy. Here we have, I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo. They can be manipulative. God bless them, but they really can be. I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo or a Sagittarius. Virgo, like I said, is about healing and health and picking up the pieces and cleaning stuff up and, 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 and fixing things and putting things back onto a regular schedule. It's also about work. There could be something about job driving to work or having to drive a distance to work, um, going to work, working on cars. It also could be travel. There could be a job offer that is going to allow you to travel. Take it. Do it. Sagittarius energy is almost like saying... Look outside of the box when it comes to work. If you've been having like, like, um, uh, I don't know, job issues, or you will be moving for work, you will be traveling for work, or your box, your 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 box, you're gonna be like I said, outside of the box for work. But this is some sort of position that is sort of broader, more expansive. You can do more things. I uh, got more flexibility, but it's still a reliable, it's still a reliable source of work. So that is definitely something that could also help you out a lot right now. Even like working on cars, you could be a mechanic if you want with this kind of energy, uh, whatever you want to do. But, but it's, it's saying, get into it and do it. Work is going to help your mind right now. It's going to help your mind and it's going to help your pocketbook. Um, and if you could work with your hands, that's even better. Because for you guys, it's it's good for an Aries to be tactile. It's good for an Aries to sort of, you know, work with their hands and, and not just cranial. In fact, if you have a job that's really like intellectual, your mind's going to be really cloggy and, you know, you're going to be constantly coming into just clashing this week. So it's better to be more hands-on and do more physical stuff. Um, get into that physical work. Sagittarius is all about travel. It's all about travel. I really do see maybe you going somewhere for work or accepting a position that's outside of where you live now. It could be even overseas. I don't know. That would be glamorous. I'm into that, dude. Yes, Aries. Aries. Hold up. We have Surrender to the Divine, which is the full moon. This is actually a timestamp that's coming out a little bit in the future. We just went through, I believe, a new moon. We just went through a new moon. Um. Oh. We just went through a new moon in Sagittarius. Did you start something around that season? Did you start like a new job or something? Something started around then? That could actually take you far. But the surrender to the divine, there's a full moon coming up. No, it was a new moon in Gemini. I'm sorry. Oh, this is a full moon in Sagittarius. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to look at this. We could, uh, this is important because I got a, I got a date for you. Monday, you know, we just went through the new moon. That was in Gemini. So when's the full moon, baby? Uh, the full moon is on Tuesday, June 14th. Why am I saying this to you? Because it's extremely important. Because that's when it's saying that you're finally going to be able to move forward, especially on a job. So if you have been, I know, it's like all cryptic and like, God bless the God, God bless God, you know? Like it's all kinds of cryptic. But it is definitely saying, oh, it's so perfect. Surrender to the divine understand that you're not going to be able to make any real progress until the full moon. That is June 14th. Boo. Aries, listen up. That is a date. That is very important. Surrender to the divine. Give over because that's when you can finally take action and confidence is your key to success and bring love into the situation. This new, this full moon that's coming up um, on, what did I say? On the 14th. This full moon that's coming, I'm so excited by this. I rarely get this kind of specific stuff. Like sometimes it'll happen. I'll put it in your title so you'll know. 
um, this full moon in Sagittarius, it's, you can't get more perfect than that. You're going to be able to actually start a new job or start working or you'll be, yeah, you'll be starting a new job, starting working or something like that. Maybe you're moving for it. That'll happen on that for, uh, June 14th, or you'll get word that you're going to be able to move forward. This is about, you'll be able to release all that toxic crap that you've been struggling with authority figures, blah, 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 blah. Like the rules, all that crazy, like shit that you have to go through right now that will all be cleared by june 14th and and then you get a new start you, you can have you can take you can take your action right you have a lot of fire energy here and then you have aquarius which means you can take your action you can tell the truth you can be honest you can be open you'll be well received by people people you have charisma have confidence go for it people will like you they'll be open they'll give you opportunities so don't rush yourself now you may feel like, oh, no, 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 I have to go for this job today or I have to call this person out. You do not and you should not. You should take these next two weeks or a week and a half at this point. Just work on yourself. Pound it out in the gym. Get your diet back on, you know, on schedule. I mean, like dieting, but like nutrition again. Like work in the physical realm on you right now. That's what you need to do because this opportunity, dude, it, it wasn't, it's not ready until then anyway. It's not like, you, it's like you're going to, if you try to rush it now, you're going to rush it for nothing because it's not even arrived yet. It's not arriving to the full moon. It's just confirmed. So what you've got to do until then is just do the prep work on yourself to help ease your mind, clear your mind. Don't let nobody distract you. It sounds like somebody's going to be trying to put you to work for them. Don't go to work for yourself. I don't mean like necessarily entrepreneurial stuff unless unless you're into that, but I mean work on yourself, prioritize yourself, you know, do that first house shit where I got to take care of me, I got to take care of the body that I'm in. It's interesting because Virgo is about taking care of the first house. It's about doing the day-to-day -day cultivating work on yourself. So what have you got to do to get yourself back into the healthy situations? You've got a week and a half. I'm not saying you have to change your life in a week and a half, but start to change your patterns and then bam, you're going to be ready. It's going to be good for you. I promise. Let's get more information. I hope you come with me. The link is below. I'll see you in the extended.